Today, me and my friends are going to show you how to draw a modern art lady. So, let's begin. So, first, you want to get your canvas and make sure it is the right shape. And the and right color. By the right shape, you want a square. Yeah, a square is or, a good place to start. Or a rectangle. And so, you want to start with the base color. Not barf color, though. Kind of like... Somewhere between vomit green and vomit yellow. Like that. There you go. This is, is the perfect color. That's great. So. Because it'll bring out all the colors in the painting. Exactly. So the first thing you usually want to start out with when you're drawing anything is the most important part, the, uh, the lips. So we're going to start. You got to make sure they look perfect. Because... Okay. The lips are the base of every painting. Like, <laughs> the accuracy in that already is ridiculous. Yeah, so this is, like, you don't you shouldn't be worried about the start of it, because you can always just touch it up later. So. And we'll show you that at the end of the video, how we're going to touch it up and just make it look great. Yeah, so this is just kind of getting, like, you know, feeling out where everything is going to be to begin with. And for right now... But you want to be using your paint brush to right. brush on the paint. Right over here. So, second part you want is the eyeballs. And those are pretty easy. They're just kind of like circles, and then you draw over them later. You never want to start with too much detail. Yeah, never. Like, you add all the emotion later, so... Let's see, why do you put it on there? So that's, you, you're drawing the wrong color, bud. How do I... Oh-ho! Oh-ho! Oh, 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 there we go. The pupils... You want to make sure the pupils are looking in the same direction. Otherwise, it could be strange. So. Yeah, it'll look a little strange if they're looking the wrong way. But for the I most part, it'll be fine. Yeah. And eyeballs are shaped <laughs> like... Kind of like... Almonds? Yeah, an almond. So I try to get that like almondy shape right in here. <laughs> uh, the next part that you really want to do is like the lips. So I suggest getting like a more thin point or exact uh, drawing utensil, such as a pencil, and then just make the size really small. Like, so when you're drawing with your pencil, it is totally okay to draw on wet paint with a pencil. It'll show up. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Like, especially when you're using a computer, because, you know, they're not that realistic. Make sure not to touch your computer screen, though, because you gotta let wet paint dry. Yeah, exactly. And everything we're telling you now corresponds directly to painting on, say, an actual canvas. Pencils on wet paint work as long as you don't touch the wet paint with your hands. And then you'll be all right. Okay, so now that we got the white of the teeth, we need the black of the teeth. You gotta, you gotta show the lines so you can tell the difference between each tooth. And when people smile, oops, what, wrong, wrong color. I know. When, okay. when people smile, you usually only see the top teeth. So, it you kind of want to make the lines look like a prison cell. Because it's trapping your voice. Exactly. That's what just teeth like are. Just like a prison cell. And then if you just kind of like black out the bottom here to give it some depth. Kind of like she's opening her mouth, you know? Kind of like breathing, but only a little. Yeah. So you kind of want, like, as long as you kind of got something that generally looks like this, <laughs> you're good to go. <laughs> Alright, next you want to draw the nose. Yeah, so the nose is probably the easiest part. You can just go in here and, you know, you you got the nose hole, and then you got the you got the razor part of the nose. It's a little high. The actually. nose hole, the nose line needs to be right behind the nose hole. No, yeah, we know this looks pretty silly, but we, keep in mind that this is just the first part of the sketch. We promise you that when we touch it up at the end, it will look... Amazing. Yeah. Like there's lots of steps to drawing art and f for the most part, you know, you just want to take your time with it and make sure that you get the details that you want in. 
So above the eyes go the eyebrows. And pretty much everyone has these. I mean, I'm sure you've seen an eyebrow, fuzzy lines of hair. So just want to capture their essence. Like, you, you want to make sure it doesn't look like two caterpillars fighting over territory. It's just two caterpillars in a mutual agreement and keeping their distance. So yeah, see, you don't want to give one of the caterpillars a sword or else it'll kill the other one and that would not be good. Because so, one eyebrow does not look good on a person. Gotta have balance. So just... If you, if you mess up, just undo. Use your If you're painting this and you don't have an undo button on your canvas in real life, just use your eraser on your pencil. So the second part you want to do... <laughs> you got it. Get the shape of the head down. The cheekbone. The cheekbone is the most important bone of the face. You want to make sure that you try this multiple times so you can get it down right. It will look... <laughs> and... <laughs> Okay. It, it's it, if you take a few tries, that's all right. Even the best painters ever, like Bob Ross and Leonardo DiCaprio, had to try several times to get the right chin and cheek structure when painting. Yeah. So you really shouldn't be worried about it, cause you know the outlines of all the areas that you do, they don't matter. No one's gonna be looking at that. Okay, they're, they're only caring about the details with what you're doing. So, uh, another part of the person that we need to do is the hair. So, usually, you can do hair with a paintbrush. What color should the hair be? The hair needs to be darker than the background. And it needs to kind of just complement everything. Yeah, okay, so this is like a good color for hair. So, for the hair, you, you kind of want like a bigger brush though. It looks very dramatic if you draw hair partially over the eyes, so that's just a good tip if you want to add some emotion to whatever you're doing. So this is a good size for drawing hair, because uh, you can draw it pretty quick. That's, that's the wrong color. <laughs> One second. Good try. Got to switch there. There we go. Okay, so the hair so far is looking pretty good, because we just want that base color right now. You know, it kind of just comes down the side. You want to, when you start drawing your hair, you want to model it after Donald Trump. Yeah, that's, he's always a really good model to use, is his, Donald Trump. His luscious golden locks are ideal for painting. And then once you get that down, you can kind of move on, but I mean, why would you? His hair is great. Yeah, it's perfect. There's nothing better than that. Like, if you can, just match it as much as you can, every time, when drawing. But, for this demonstration we're gonna kind of demonstrate longer hair which will look pretty 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 yeah, so this is kind of like adding you know form to the hair you really just want it to look you know hairy like because there's individual strands of hair it's not just like one big poof of cloud so adding these kind of like almost dreadlock looking things really just adds depth to the hairstyle uh, the next thing you want to do is put some eyeshadow around the eyes. Oh, first though, gotta draw eyelashes. Oh yeah, eyelashes. Those are a big part of, you know, a person. You know those things that fall into your eye sometimes and just are annoying buggers? Put them on there. Okay. So, eyelashes, they kind of curl up, as you can see in our painting. And then the bottom one's curled down. So you gotta make sure that you get that right or else it'll look really weird. Like, here. You don't want your thingy to look like that. Cause look at that. That's just... How is she gonna see through that? The, then she looks like she's got Venus flytrap eyes and that's just... Yeah. Why? Why? It, it just doesn't work. That's not the right kind of eyes. I did that wrong. Okay. There you go. Alright. Okay. So now you want to work on the eyeliner, and the eyeliner, you know, it doesn't have to be perfect. Lots of people don't do, like, spend a lot of time on the eyeliner, because it's just kind of like a shade of color around the eyes. It's just extra. You don't have to have it on there, but it can help with the, just overall effect. Yeah. Remember, don't go too much on makeup, because, I mean, it looks bad if you do too much makeup. 
Yeah, so you just kind of want to like get it from dark to like a shadier color around it. And you can just keep going around. Like, you want something that looks pretty. Like, it catches the eye of the beholder, you know? And that looks <laughs> very beautiful. So, like, keep in mind, guys, this is just to start out. It's nothing that's final. So, don't be too worried about how you're doing right now, if you're following along. Uh, the next part that we want to work on is the background. And an easy way to do that is you just get a paintbrush, and you get black, and you kind of just... Draw a little bit. Yeah. It's like shadows, kind of. Yeah. You know, just something to add depth and feeling to your painting. Just to make it, like, you know, pop out to anyone looking at it. So, now you can see that this woman, her face is in front of the back. That was an accident. We don't need <laughs> that there. That's fine. <laughs> no, okay. We'll do the body later. Don't worry, guys. Or we just might not. We probably won't do a body. This is kind of yeah, we can accentuating just the part. face. Don't worry. So, uh, the second part, or not the second this part. This is like the 19th part. Yeah, it's fine. So you want to add some like shading to your picture to make sure that people really feel like the depth of the person that you're drawing, you know? You want that feeling that it's like real, like it's right there in front of them. And a good way to do that is to add like some shading around, like anywhere that light wouldn't really touch very much of, you really want to just shade that in a bit. Cause see, on the top there, the hair, we're, we're assuming the light source is kinda up and to the, her left of this picture. Yeah, so, like up here. So like, that's, the, you won't be able to see that as well because the hair is gonna be shadowing that, so that's why we're drawing it there. Exactly. So, uh, something that's really good to do with your paintings, if you're not sure, like, how you want people to perceive them, is to just add feeling to them. So, a way to do that, at least as far as I know, is to, like, just, you know, add some, like, feelings, you know, crying or something, just Make it sadness. look like they were crying, and it'll definitely imply emotion, and... It just has a huge effect on the viewers and people who look at your yeah, art. It just grips your soul when you look at it. It makes you feel like like you relate to them in some way, you know? Uh, so, from this part, we can kind of just add some sh more shading in around the areas that need it. Also, one other thing that we forgot to do, um, when you're drawing the lips... Lipstick sometimes is reflective of light, right? So you want to add some white there to kind of accentuate the little lines in there that would be ref that would reflect the light coming from the light source. So just draw some little lines on there, mm -hmm. kind of just wherever the Ooh. that's black. <laughs> that's not right. Wherever you feel you need to do that. And it doesn't really matter, just as long as you think it looks good. Like that, mm. it should, the, the light reflecting on the lips should kind of look like a pedo stash. Yeah, just a little bit, you know. Because, like, later on it won't actually look like that. Especially when we go through the touch-up and stuff. It'll look a lot different. So, I think this is a good basis for a drawing right here. It has some good features about it, and... We can kind of build off of that for now. So you're going to go get your touch-up brush, and you want to make it, like, the maximum size that you can. So you just all the way. Like, grab it and just pull it all the way across. Okay. So this is pretty good right here. And we're just going to kind and of slide. Hold up, hold up. Oh. And in real life... There, there's a, there's this thing called a touch-up brush. This is not just on computers. Yeah. You can actually go to the art store and buy a touch-up brush, and it's like, it's magic. Like, I don't even know how it works. It's hard to describe, but look at that. Look at how that was touched up so beautifully. Yeah. You can see the simil, you see the similarities, but from before we had the lips with the pedo stash on them. It even the auto crops for you. Eyes. It's and great. It will if you if your painting is the wrong size on your canvas in real life, it will cut your canvas and it is 
absolutely mind blowing. Yeah. And so you can pick it up for only a couple dollars wherever you wherever you buy yeah, your art I supplies. I really recommend it. It's super useful for just drawing art and stuff. It really just turns like quick sketches into something that just blows people away. And all you ever need to do is the base layer. That's it. Yep. Base layers are the most important part of painting. Yeah. So, thanks for joining us today on this art tutorial. I hope we helped you out. And we're using GIMP right now. It's a free program. You can go pick it up and try this for yourself. So, leave some comments below if you have any questions about how we did this or anything else like that. Yeah, we'll be sure to answer them. Don't worry about it. And when you do your own painting, let us know how it goes in the comments below. Yeah, send us a link and we'll check it out and we'll see how you did. And make sure to subscribe for us for more great videos on how to just do cool things very easily. And also some other things that aren't the same or related but are just still pretty darn cool. Alright, thanks for watching guys. We'll see you later. Peace.